Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about system vision document. So basically what is a system vision document? <coughs> it is the document which is used to present the idea of your system to the main stakeholders. Okay. Now what do we mean by stakeholders? Basically in this case we are talking about the top management or the people who are going to fund our system, who are going to pay for our system. So we need to present them the idea of our system or of our project. So that idea is presented with the help of something called as system vision document. And system vision document, it is made up of three parts. The first part is called as problem description is called as problem description. So what is problem description? In this part, we state the problem which presently our system or our business is facing. For example, we are recording our business transaction on a piece of a paper. For example, we are using paper files and we are recording all the transactions on the piece of paper. And what the problem we are facing is after every few years, okay, due to moisture or due to infestation from the insect. So we start losing the record, okay, insects eat your papers or there is a moisture and due to which the paper is damaged and you cannot retrieve your records. That is the problem which we are facing presently. So that problem is stated in the first part. We call it as problem description. Then we have second part. We have a problem. Now we have solution. In terms of system capabilities. L I T I E S. Okay. In terms of system capabilities. Again, I'm sorry for my bad in writing. So please focus on what I say. So here we stated the problem. The problem with the present system is after a few years the files are destroyed due to moisture or due to something okay then we have a solution so what is the solution the solution to this problem is replace the paper files with the digital files means we make a digitalized file processing system in which all the transactions are recorded on the computer are recorded using a computer in a digital format okay those are the system capabilities means the new system will help you to <laughs> record the data excuse me to record the data digitally so when we record the data digitally then the problem of paper getting destroyed or insects eating the paper is eliminated right so first part is problem description second part is the solution in terms of system capability means the new system is capable of storing the transactions in a digital format okay so when it stores the transactions in the digital format the problems which we are facing here can be eliminated to great extent so after this the third part now you know all the businessmen they will only spend money if they know they are going to get some benefit in the long run so the third and the most important part of system vision document is called as business benefits business benefits so after we deploy the new system what are the benefits which we will get from that system okay that benefits we must present to the stakeholders right so then only they pay for your system. For example, in that case or in this case, we can say, okay, if we employ a computerized system, then it can improve the efficiency of the company. Okay. The data, no data is uh, lost because of the insects or because of the moisture or because of anything like that. Okay. We can store the data in the digital format. We can retrieve the data easily. We can manipulate the data easily. We can share the distribute the data easily, which will increase our performance and it will increase our productivity. Ultimately, it will help you to increase your profits. Okay. So all those things, they come in business benefits. 
So guys, again, so when you need to present your idea to the top stakeholders who are going to pay for your system, we need to present it in form of system vision document. So as I told you, it has three parts, problem description, then it has solution or the system capabilities, and then the third part, business benefits. I hope guys, you learned something from this video. Please like and subscribe our channel and if you have any feedback, please leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much.